Welcome to RK Tutorials Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set to 2.7 and problem number 2.100. What must be the angle alpha between the plane faces of steel wedge used for splitting logs? If there is to be no danger, if the wedge slipping out after each blow of the sledge, that means there is a log this log is to be split into two halves by using a wedge. The interest is to find the angle alpha. For that, let us draw the free body diagram for the wedge. The various forces acting on the wedge is, here I can find there is a contact here I can see. So here I can find a normal reaction and also here I can find the normal reaction. Let those two normal reactions are N and N. The log is moving in the upward direction. There is a frictional force acting along the surface and it is towards downwards. Let those magnitudes are mu n and mu n. These are the forces acting on the wedge. Let us transfer all those forces onto separate xy plane for easy analysis. So first I am transferring this mu n and mu n. So these two forces are mu n and mu n. Next this force and this force n and n. Let these two forces are n and n. The point is we need to identify the angles made by these four forces along x axis and y axis. Given that this angle is alpha, now if you draw an, a, an exact vertical line here, so we can understood that this angle will be alpha by 2 and this angle will also be alpha by 2. Hence, the angle made by this n with horizontal will be uh, alpha by 2 and the angle made by this mu n presenting here. So this angle is alpha by 2 and this angle is alpha by 2. And here the angles are alpha by 2 and alpha. Let us uh, resolve all those forces along x axis and y axis. Now first this n force. n force I can resolve like this along x axis and y axis. And the horizontal component is n cos alpha by 2. And vertical component is n sin alpha by 2. Look at this. This value is n cos alpha by 2 and this value is n sin alpha by 2. Similarly, same is the case here. This uh, n I can resolve like this and like this. So this component is cos alpha by 2 and this component is sin alpha by 2. And so you can see this component is n sin alpha by 2 and this component is n cos alpha by 2. Same is the case with mu n. So mu n force, this force I can resolve like this. One force is like this, another force is like this. And this uh, vertical component is cos alpha by 2 and horizontal component is sin alpha by 2. And finally, mu n, you can resolve like this. And those two components of the forces are like this. And the magnitudes are given by mu n sin alpha by 2 and mu n cos alpha by 2. Now, in order to satisfy the equilibrium, we must use the equation sigma fx is equal to 0 and sigma fy is equal to 0. So let us use the equation sigma fy is equal to 0. There are two upward forces and two downward forces. And the net upward force n sin alpha by 2 plus n sin alpha by 2 that is 2 n sin alpha by 2 and the net downward force is 2 mu n cos alpha by 2. So n n gets cancelled and you can further simplify sin alpha by 2 is equal to mu n to cos alpha by 2 and further if you simplify you will get tan alpha by 2 is equal to mu. But mu is the coefficient of friction that coefficient of friction you can consider as mu is equal to tan phi where phi is the friction angle and tan alpha by 2 is equal to tan phi. So further you can simplify and you will get alpha by 2 is equal to phi or alpha is equal to 2 phi is the answer for the given problem.